That takes too much risk. A little far-fetched. For a game purpose, it was a good hit. Reality, no. That's kind of far-fetched. You got to make sure you hit the target with the cannonball. It's not a way you want to hit somebody, especially as a professional. If you miss, you just expose your whole project. Because of all the camera technology, very, very difficult to be a typical hitting person. There's new technology, so you got to combat it the same way with new ways of carrying out your mission. Starts right into it, so I like this. And smart, he puts him away so nobody else knows what's going on. Yeah, that was pretty good. And the way he's following, I never liked this though. So I guess she's an agent of some sort, so she's fair game. Good intel how to get through. That was cool. I like that. No, I never did anything like that, but I like that. It was a wild wow factor on that. These I really like, and whoever thought about this, very smart. This I wouldn't have wasted my time doing. You could have just stabbed them and been quick. Mother died last year. A lot of hits over the years with guys wearing disguises, going in and coming in almost undercover, and then and then performing what they need to perform. So yeah, that was pretty realistic of what he just did. That was tight. I like that. So that was another something unique, different that you don't see all the time. The planning has been good, actually, so far. Even that, I was just going to say, I wonder if one of those golf balls have a bomb in it. These are some things that could be realistic, especially you have intel that he constantly does something on a regular basis. He drinks coffee every day with tea and it's served out in the courtyard. You know you could poison it. You know he's going to drink it. You know if he's hitting golf balls every day, if you put one in, it's a good way to kill him without being on top of him. There's another poisoning thing, which, again, if you know she's drinking it only or you kill somebody else, but if she's the one and you're placing it in her house and you know she has a regular habit. <laughs> it's a smart hit. You don't have to be there. <coughs> Emotionally, when you're you're going to do a job, whether you're a, a spy or you know, somebody in armed forces or somebody from the street, I think is a detachment until years later when you step back and it does take a toll on you. If you got any humanity to you, wars, uh, soldiers, PTSD, it's proven that uh, human nature to shut yourself off, but then at one time it's gonna come back at you and you gotta deal with what you did. This is kind of crazy, same thing. If you're going to do that, he's very strong. He can overpower from behind and simply choke or crack a neck or stab or anything. I love cliff di diving. It's not my sport. love watching it. I want to see what he does here. Again, I like that too. You're just pushing him. It's simple. Yeah, he wears a lot of disguises in this. And that's a wood chipper, I believe. He's putting him in. So I'm looking at the top end of that. That's kind of far-fetched. You gotta make sure you hit the target with the cannonball. It's not really realistic. It's not a way you wanna hit somebody, especially as a professional. If you miss, you just expose your whole project. The plane's head towards you, hit the pilot. Or before the pilot even took off, play something in the plane like that's gonna blow it up or do something to the uh, landing gear. I don't like anything by chance like that, chandeliers and falling. It's not good enough for, for a professional. Tampering with the temperature, if it blows it up at a high heat, then I like it. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Although it's taking a lot of time. And in any of this, the longer you take, the bigger chance you have to be caught or killed. Yeah, I think any challenges during the game makes it very interesting. And, and, and you know, it's going to make people want to watch and play more because it brings excitement, the unknowing. I like some of this destroying things, the virus, 
something different than the typical gun use or uh, especially when you got to kill multiple people like he's trying to do here or to stop a situation. You try to limit your targets. Obviously, you don't want outsiders hurt when you're doing work. If you're you're good at what you're doing, if you're just a random, that's why you see a lot of these random gang shootings. They're hitting all innocent people. That's not something you would see with somebody who's professional. They limit it to just their targets. No outside people should be able should get hurt ever if you're good at what you're doing. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. This is kind of crazy, but it's a different effect. I never seen anything like this on any of the games before. It's pretty good because it got me on the edge. I was moving up on my seat, so that means I'm enjoying it. They actually have these machines that kind of do somewhat of operations now. To see something like this here with him controlling it, I think it's pretty unique and cool in a, in a way. I mean, I don't think I'd ever do that, but if I was in his position, but it's still something cool for a game. Use of the new technology to combat it, you have to use techniques outside of guns because of the camera work. So if you can give somebody, say, a cyanide pill or poison their coffee or an injection of some sort where it's a delayed reaction before they, they're killed, you'll get away with it. Because of all the camera technology, very, very difficult to be a typical hidden person, a man, a woman, like uh, in the past. There's new technology, so you got to combat it the same way with new ways of carrying out your mission. You know, there's a lot of hits like that people aren't aware of. Guys get pick you up as a cab driver. Uh, there's been a hit in our past like that. When a guy jumped in a car and thought he was good, he was in a cab and he wasn't, they tried to hit him there. You have guys that were hit in the park while they were jogging as joggers. So you have different situations that people wear different outfits. There was a guy that was dressed and sleeping on the street as a bum. So all these, they're pretty realistic when they this concept. Now access to your this also malfunction of a cable car. I mean, it depends on how many people in the car. Again, you don't want to hurt other people. Your mission is to hit who you're trying to hit. So if there's only the people you're trying to hit in that cable car, it doesn't have to be by gunfire. You can snap those cables. Just recently, well, not recently, in the last couple of years, John Kennedy Jr. was in an airplane and they say it was an accident. I don't believe so. I mean, you, you got situations like that. I think it was uh, some sort of hit, covert. No one's ever going to be able to prove it. And those are the situations and the killings that people don't realize it was a, a guy that was running against the president, Putin, in, in Moscow, in Russia, that was also poisoned, but he lived. Those are the modern day technology of true assassins and hits. Now, this is a view to die for. It was a woman that was accused of pushing her husband over a, a mountain. They had an argument of some sort, but it's as simple as that. A quick push and it's done. Now, these sniper hits like this, if that's what he's doing, it could still be done like this because you could be so far away. And they are done like this. In Europe, there's been a couple recently. What's that? that takes too much risk. A little far-fetched. For a game purpose, it was a good hit. Reality, no. Some of these hits are vicious, especially against women. The game is fair game because I guess they're all operatives of some sort. I think as a somebody that is a hitman or somebody that's exterminating other people, I don't think that comes across mentally at all. You don't think about it. It's just part of your life. It's part of your training. It's not in your thought process to, to worry about that happening to you. So Hitman 3 was unique in a lot of different ways from the other because you had some technology killings here, which I do like. And I, I believe that you have to combat technology with more technology the other way. The action of it and the intelligence of the way they were killing here, uh, some of it, most of it realistic, some of it wasn't, a little far-fetched, but I enjoyed the game. You can check out Gameology on YouTube and Facebook. I'm John A. Light, ex-Gambino Hitman Enforcer. Check me out on Instagram, John A. Light, my website, johnalight.com. Come enjoy it, come watch it, come play it. See you guys.